Hi, I am Mitzi Ui Chan, the founder of Mori Creations. Mori Creations is a social enterprise that provides sustainable livelihood to mothers in the community. We envision that handmade products will be mainstream in the market, hence we created Mori Creations as a platform for artists, crafters, and advocates to collaborate together, work together to create quality products. Mori started when I was 23 years old. I left the corporate world because I wanted to discover kung ano ba yung meaning and purpose of my life. So what I did was, every morning after I wake up, I would open my Bible and read one chapter a day. When I was reading the Bible, I also write in journals. And then soon, I started to create my own journals for myself. And then I also realized throughout the years that I need to use my gifts in creativity to help others and to bless others. I realized I can train the women, the mothers, to create these journals as well. Hence, we started with Mori Notes first book. Mori in Hebrew means God teaches. So we started with journals and then we started selling them sa major bookstores within Metro Manila lang. Soon we expanded to other purses like the dual zip purses, the roll-up organizers, the neck pouches. Now we're also shipping to Singapore. Before, we get recycled denims from mga mothers din in the community. We are less into recycled denim now, but in our journals, we use recycled papers. More creation started in my own home. Isip ko lang to test the market with our maid. She enjoyed doing arts and crafts, and I wanted her to have a work that she enjoys doing. I told her how to sew by theory and then she experimented and started making journals so I told her Faye, gawa ka ng 50 pieces lang ah, for this Christmas and then I will sell them through Facebook and then you will earn this much and then when I posted on Facebook hundreds yung demands for that Christmas so that's when I realized that pwede pala din siya maging business burden ko towards the moms kasi one time we had the maid and then her daughter was really sick. Walang panggamot yung nandun sa probinsya for the daughter. So etong maid namin, iyak nang iyak lang sa house namin. So parang I felt so bad for her na she is with us and not with her daughter. Some of the mothers, they leave their families, they leave their children behind in order to work. And I want them to be with their children and yet earn a living. So I want them to have a livelihood at their own homes. That's why I wanted to train them to create what I know how to create as well. So before, I trained three of them lang eh. And then, I train them in the barangay hall. I always give them materials so that they would try and create it. One of the challenges that I encountered before was not having enough work for the mothers to do. So it was a lot of pressure for me to be able to provide them with sustainable job. And I was very discouraged and I was thinking, what if we just stop? But then it's always about them eh, that I'm continuing with this mission. It's always about being able to help them get out of poverty. That's why I told myself, I need to continue this. This is what God has created me to do. And God will always provide me with wisdom and creativity enough to, you know, go through it.